Electronics is about bending raw energy, splitting it, storing it, multiplying it, reversing it, and shaping it to your will. Like flat, featureless sand shaped into a castle, a simple force is shaped into complex signals that play music, control 3D printers, or play video on a screen. Using Spintronics, we're gonna to learn to build with energy, but you won't use electricity. Instead, for the first time in history, we're gonna be using mechanical circuits. They behave the same way, taking advantage of your brain's natural mastery of understanding things you can see and touch. I'm Preston Spratt for Sprattronics Learning Lab, and last week we did our Electrical Engineering and Electricity Week, and we found this great tool for teaching electronics using mechanical motion. This is a great way to see electricity, feel how it moves, and actually visualize the components. You can follow along with these lessons using the simulator tool that we're gonna link below, or you could join one of our classes where we actually send you this Spintronics kit and you have a chance to build these circuits yourself. Let's do tutorial one. We're gonna learn about the battery. Spintronic circuits are powered by a battery. The battery pulls chains through circuits just like electrical batteries pull electrons through wires. Every circuit needs power. In Spintronics, the battery isn't electrical, it's mechanical. This gear-driven battery stores energy as tension, just like winding up a rubber band. And just like real electrical circuits, we need a circuit breaker to help control that flow. When the energy goes too fast, we can stop the system before something overheats or breaks by flipping that circuit breaker. When a battery releases all of its energy at once, it's called a short. A short is wherever the battery has a path to release its energy without any resistance. We're gonna use a tool called a resistor. A Spintronic resistor, its purpose is to resist the flow of chain. Resistance is measured in spin ohms. The higher the spin ohm value of a resistor, the harder it is to turn. The symbol for a spin ohm is the omega sign. Now that we've been introduced to the battery and to a resistor, let's build a basic circuit. Before we can build a basic circuit, we need to make our workspace bigger. These magnetic tiles are what are gonna help us do that. So we're gonna place this tile directly in front of the battery. And we could be done right there, but we're gonna use these locking tools to drop it down in there. And if you've ever put together IKEA furniture, you've used one of these locking tools. Or if you haven't yet, you will if you ever buy some furniture from a big box store. Once I turn that with the key, these two are stuck together. Now, we're gonna connect the motor to a 500 ohm resistor with a loop of chain. Most parts have three levels. It doesn't matter which one you use, but chains must connect sprockets at the same level. After you place a chain loop around sprockets, adjust the tension by sliding one part away from the other. There should be just a tiny bit of slack in the chain. If it's too tight, it's gonna add extra resistance, and if it's too loose, the chain will skip. Let's pull the string and let it go. This is our first circuit. I have completely let go of the chain, and it's not going to go flying in there, tripping our circuit breaker. And this chain is spinning. We can follow along with that blue link of chain to see how fast that chain is moving. We'll explore five different circuits using resistors in different ways. These slow down the flow of energy. In electronics, they protect delicate components. In spintronics, they add resistance to the movement of our gears. First up, two resistors in a row, like dominoes. The second one gets less energy because the first one has already absorbed some. Watch as we spin it. See how our whole circuit is moving even slower? That's resistance in action. Now, let's see what happens when both resistors are connected to the battery at the same time. They each take a fair share of energy instead of one stealing it all. It's like two people drinking from their own water bottles instead of passing one bottle back and forth. Circuit three. Now, we put both resistors inside one spinning chain. Instead of choosing paths, energy is shared evenly. But wait, 
What if we changed the order? Circuit four. Let's mix things up. Now one resistor is inside and one is outside the chain. We can see the energy is causing this one to move counterclockwise while the other one is going clockwise. Does it look like it's spinning faster or slower? Maybe we could compare the speeds. Whoa, that's some serious physics at work. Now for our final challenge. So when I look at challenge five, I see that it gives me a little bit of a hint that there's more parts available than you actually need. Maybe. We've made the starting setup <clears throat> match the book. And there must be some important reason why we're not operating right in front of here. Now I remember last time to get a resistor to go counterclockwise, it needed to be on the outside of the chain, the outside of the circuit. I don't know how to get both of these on the outside, but it is possible to get maybe the battery on the outside of the circuit. It looks like I'm gonna need a longer chain. I bet that's why <clears throat> they asked me to use two chains. So I'm gonna make my chain longer. So now I have one long chain. I'm gonna put it around both resistors. Now, can I scoot them so that the chain... <clears throat> awesome. it out. They are both going counterclockwise. All right, we seem to be going the same speed as before, but now both counterclockwise. So that wraps up our tutorial number two of building basic circuits. Go ahead and test these circuits out using your simulator or on your own. Can't wait to see what you make. Spintronics is a hands-on way to understand circuits. We've done the first tutorials today covering the battery and the resistors. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can see as we move further through the Spintronics universe. Thank you and have a wonderful rest of your day.